Okay, we are live. I think I said in 10 minutes, but um, I'm signing on early while I just get set up here. So you guys can get your notifications because there is some good stuff today. Okay. Oops. Retry this. All right. Hello, Trey. Hello, hello. Okay, this is not our normal time for going live, but um, we have been packing, unpacking and packing and pulling stuff and like craziness today. So um, before we head out for the evening, I just had to sit down and go through this stuff with you guys. So um, I want to go through the uh, Cartabella Halloween that came, that came and was out for you guys on Saturday, uh, but it just had like a little sneak peek in the newsletter last week. So I wanted to show you that one. Paper Rose has arrived today. Elizabeth Crafts has arrived today. Halloween ideology has arrived. <laughs> so much stuff. And just as kind of a sneak peek, we also got the new box of All in Create. So, um, that has not yet been checked in. Um, we haven't even opened that yet because <laughs> we had so many boxes. So let's get started. All right. So first off, I'm going to go through this one really quick because this is the one that some of you guys have seen. So I can, I can go through this quickly, um, and just give you a good peek. So this is the Halloween fun line from Cartabella. Uh, we are out of the six by six pads for this collection. However, I am going to, uh, put in another order because I am in love with this collection. So is there any way you could perhaps get me a price on the six by six? I didn't get one. I'm sorry. So thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> he said, he said, don't talk to me or pretend I'm not here. <laughs> so, um, oh, hi. Hi, Diane. Okay. So this is the Halloween fun from Cartabella and we have the collection kits. Oh, I meant, I managed, I don't know prices on any of these. It turns out. Could I maybe handy this pile and we'll go through it in a minute. Could you put price tags on these? Okay. We'll be back in a moment. <laughs> Also, um, that means the whole thing needs prices. Okay, change of plans. <laughs> All right, let's talk about paper rose. Ah, so last year we got in paper rose, and it was insanely popular, their Halloween line. And um, I, I know a lot of you guys fell completely in love with it. And I just want to actually, do you guys keep seeing green on the screen? Because I certainly do. It's weird, but hopefully you guys can still hear me okay. So I'm going to open this one up. This is the new collection called Spooky Halloween. Beautiful images, okay? We also have the cut aparts. We have the six by six pad, and then we have the embossed die cuts. I'm gonna go through all of these. Also from last year was Happy Halloween. So this one was crazy, crazy popular. I did get back in a little bit of this collection, a couple of the um, of our favorite sheets. This mushroom one, is it back in open stock? Amazing, and this year, I cannot remember if they had these last year or if they came out late. Um, I don't remember, but these are the embossed die cuts for Happy Halloween. So just 
to ease the confusion, Happy Halloween is last year, Spooky Halloween is this year's, okay? And so if you are not familiar, these don't look familiar to me, but I don't know if anybody remembers, so I'm going to open these up. The embossed die cuts from Paper Rose are one of my favorites. I just think they are so mind-blowing in the, oh, thank you, in the amount of detail that you get in the shiny. Hopefully it's showing up. So with these embossed die cuts, they are all die cut for you. You get four sheets of the most amazing, I mean, look at that moon and that hat. Oh, so cool. The most amazing die cuts. So this one is in stock. I don't think I ordered a ton of these because I couldn't remember if we had them last year or not. Um, but they're $9.99 for the pack of embossed die cuts. If you do want anything from Paper Rose, if you don't specify, I will assume it's the new release. So if you want Happy Halloween, um, that's last year's. Be sure to stay Happy Halloween, okay? Let's look at the new one. Oh, I'm so excited. My other half here, he checked these in. So I have not yet looked at these except digitally. And... So the 12 by 12 collection kit is $17.99. It has 12 double-sided papers, okay? And in the collection kit, you get this sheet of um, sentiments that are in colors. You'll see that coordinate beautifully with the collection, okay? This is, now if you're not familiar with paper rose. I just want to kind of re um, refresh your memory because um, it's a little bit tricky the way that they do this. These guys are out of Australia and what they do is they put out a collection and they don't name the papers, they letter them. Okay, So this is paper A and you guys, the back sides of these, look at <laughs> that. Oh my god, that's so much cuter in person than I thought it was even going to be. Oh my gosh. Ah, I get so excited. And then this one is B. And so you've got kind of these nice stripes. I actually like this because that's going to create a really fun background. Or you can do die cutting from there if you want sentiments that match, something like that. Um, so that one is B. Oh, wow. This one is C. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. But maybe the cutest little spiders. If you are not a fan of spiders, I think you're going to have to be a fan of these spiders because how can you not be? Look at those little puff balls. <laughs> oh my gosh, it just makes me so happy. This is Spooky Halloween D. Oh, I just, I just love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And it's such a unique Halloween. So, and stripes on an angle, always one of my favorites. I mean, oh, these colors and that moon. Oh, man. And there is your happy Halloween sentiment. So it's cool. It's like even if you just use this as a background, right? So unique because you get all the words, but you have one dark strip. I mean, I just I love that. I think it's really, really clever. OK, and then this one is F. So and the best spider web so awesome so and again for our card makers look at how dramatic that is that's not usually what we get in a like you know in a background for cards where you get this really dramatic spider web so you know you can think outside the box but for scrapbookers that's going to be great too so the 12 by 12 collection kit for spooky halloween contains two of each sheet um well hi kelly and uh, it is $17.99 for this one. Happy Halloween 6x6 and ephemera. The embossed die cuts, is that what you're talking about, Kelly? Uh, yes, they are. I can set those aside for you. Okay, so there's that. And then Spooky Halloween, we have... The 6 by 6 so basically what we just looked at, just smaller and cuter, um, 18 sheets in here, $8.99. And then we have to look at these because, again, always awesome. These are the embossed die cuts 
for spooky Halloween. Okay. Look at that. Oh, I don't know. This guy, how can you not love spiders if you're looking at this one? So I'm watching kind of in my um, computer just to make sure that you guys can see just how beautiful those things are. Now, one of the things with Paper Rose is that they are on kind of a semi-gloss type paper. And it did take a lot of us some time to get used to that, me included. But one of the things that once you kind of learn to work that into your repertoire, one of the things that makes that so awesome is that the printing on that paper can be so vibrant and so clear. So it really is unlike so many other um, options that we have. It's just really unique and uh, totally, totally stunning. Okay, so that one is Spooky Halloween. I'm going to move this one to the back. Otherwise, it will not look right. And the embossed die cuts are all $9.99. Okay, and then we also, for those of you guys that love to fussy cut, so if you don't like to fussy cut, embossed die cuts is what you want. If you like to fussy cut, there's no of that, there's not that gloss embossing on here, but these are the cut aparts. And this is a, a really great value if you like to fussy cut and need to make a bunch of stuff. So this one is $11.99 and this is sheets and sheets. So you got 18 sheets of elements that you get to fussy cut. Okay. So, and there are some repeats. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Did we even see that owl in anything? I don't think so, but oh my God, it's so cute. So what's fun about this one um, <laughs> is that you get some of the different images, but I am just, I'm crazy about that owl. Okay. So yeah, actually a lot of these images are going to be different from what you get in, in the paper, but, um, wow. Oh, and look at this guy. He is so cute. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. And this, you guys, this is a really nice sturdy paper. So you'll definitely want your like sharp, um, detail scissors for that, but oh, it's such good paper. And then I think, oh, nope, we're still going. Wow. Are we back? Oh, there's that owl. Okay. So, um, anyway, so that's all the sheets in here. And then you probably get what, like three of them? Yeah. So you get three of each of the sheets. So what's great about that is one, you have gobs of designs, but two, if you wanted to do something like, say, cut this little um, cat out and then recut out the pumpkin and put it on, you know, foam to make something a little bit dimensional, you can do that because you have multiples of the same image. So $11.99 on the cut aparts. Now, um, let me just tell you which of the sheets. Actually, I'm just going to, we're just going to road trip this here. Hold on. Okay. So these are the sheets we have, oh, I got a, I, um, quite a bit of, okay, in open stock. So this is Spooky Halloween A. We got Spooky Halloween B. We got, these are usually in order, yeah. Spooky Halloween C with the little spider guys. Spooky Halloween D and E. And F. Oh, <laughs> I could have just said we got all the sheets. <laughs> I just didn't know. All right. But then from Happy Halloween, again, I got in um, some of the ones that are our favorite from last year. So this is the cut aparts. This one is B, and it has a really nice kind of fall leaf background. Um, okay, so I got a lot of that one because that one was really popular. And then I got this one. So this one has that, but this mushroom paper is probably one of the top sellers from last year. It is so amazingly stunning. So B and D on Happy Halloween, okay? All right, so back into the base here. Alrighty, so just, uh, Kelly, just to confirm, these are the two that it looks like you are asking for in the comments, just so I get it right, okay? Um, alrighty. Now, back, no, 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 wait, wait. 
All right. So I only got in a few of these because it, we really are in seasonal mode, but these were too pretty to pass up. And I think somebody requested these, but it could be that they requested another release that is called Lavender Rose and not Lavender and Roses. So I'm not 100% correct or sure, but I just wanted to let you guys know because these ones are really pretty as well. So we got Lavender and Roses 6x6 six six paper collection. And then we also got the Lavender and Roses embossed die cuts. So, I mean, come on, you guys. Is that stunning or what? I don't know if through the plastic you can see all that embossing. but And then last year, okay, great. Thanks, Kelly. Last year, um, this enchanting Christmas, this purple Christmas line was one of the most... <laughs> mind-blowing, beautifully beautiful Christmas lines we've gotten. I'll probably get some of this back in stock just because I know a lot of you guys might have missed it. And again, it is still stunning. But for those of you guys who need some of those extra pieces to go with it, we have a couple of things. So I want to show you, these actually don't have to go with the stuff if you don't have it either. I kind of uh, forgot what I ordered here. <laughs> It sounds about right these days, right? Okay, so let's start this over. Hi, guys. Remember last year the um, Enchanting Christmas line from Paper Rose? It was this stunning purple line <laughs> that was insanely popular. Okay, this year they came out with the Quick Card Collection, and then I'm, I'm going to open this up and kind of show you guys how this works because this is a phenomenal way to get some cards done that are just beautiful. And then this is the die cuts that come in here, but extras because you get extra paper. You'll see what I mean here in a second, okay? All right. So let me pop this open. This is a very clever concept that these guys have come, come out with. So in the quick cards kit, what you get is what they call an inspo sheet. <laughs> But I guess inspiration was too long for the space that they had. So what it's going to do is it's going to tell you what paper to look for and then what they envision that card might look like. Okay? So you don't have to make this exact card. You really honestly can make whatever you want. There's no written directions. It is all just picture-based. So let me kind of um, go through this real quick and show you what I mean, because this is this is pretty cool and they're great for crafters of all levels because you can take this on the go with minimal supplies, you can put these together. Um, so these are the sheets that they have and they're all double-sided, so each one has a nice B-side to it, okay? So let me actually do this one because that's that first one we were just looking at on the sheet right here, okay? So the way that this works, again, no directions. Um, but this is how this works. These are, I believe, darn close to an A2 card, but they are, um, I believe, A4 based size. So if you want to make A2 cards, just measure and kind of do, do your thing before you, you know, before you cut, but they're really, really easy to make A2. A2 or very similar size, okay? So what this picture is telling us is we need this piece of paper and it's showing us two. You don't need two sheets to make this card though because the back side has the print on it, okay? But what you're gonna do is you're going to cut this piece of paper. Basically, you cut it in half, okay? This side then, according to this picture, you would trim it down just a little. Let me zoom in just so that you guys can see this. So see how it's just showing you, um, you've got the image here on the front and then you have the writing in the back, okay? So basically you'll cut this in half, flip this half over, and then that will be the writing piece and you'll trim this one down and glue it on top and that's the next piece. Easy, right? Um, it's designed so that you have the look of layers without having to do all the cutting. And then what you do is you go over to the included 
die cut pieces and this you can use exactly what they show or you can shake it up and then this is the um this is the santa one they used happy holidays so you can find that it could be a mix and match with um any one of these let's see hmm. must be on the last one okay there's that happy holidays and then what else did they use and then they use just a little presents. So basically what you have is you have three sheets here with these nice big circle toppers. So that's what, nine, designed to make nine cards. You got lots of um, sentiments to choose from. And then you have this little sheet here of extras. So that's where the extra came from. But you can make it suit whatever you want based on these pieces. Now here is why we have the extra packages for you, okay? When you go through the quick cards kit, you have 18 double-sided pattern papers. You can do with them anything you want, okay? You don't have to make what they tell you. However, if you want to make 18 cards, then you need an extra set of the die cut pieces. And that's why we have the extra die cut pieces. So in essence, you have 18 sheets, but you have enough of those big circle die cuts for nine, because that's how the package comes. Um, and then you can either use these in a mini album, in other cards, do however you want, your scrapbooking, whatever, or you can get another package of the die cuts to make more cards. I am hoping, you guys, that makes sense. These are phenomenal kits. They are really, really nice and absolutely beautiful. Um, so if you've got questions about that, we can review that again at some point. But the card kit itself is $22.99. And the die cuts are $10.99. Okay? So let me put... I feel like I have no idea how this was packaged actually. Um, we'll just make it like that so that it's got cute stuff on the back. I don't know if it came like that, but probably it did. Okay, so these are here and that is for your Christmas. All right, uh, get back in the package. Okay. Okay, now. Back to Cardabella, <laughs> since I have prices now. Okay, so we're going to kind of zip through this. Um, all right, back to it. So we have the uh, 12 by 12 collection kit. We talked about this. It comes with 12 sheets of paper and one of these sticker sheets. We also have the sticker sheets in open stock plus some of the papers. Okay, so $15.99 for that. And that's usually your best value when it comes to getting the collections. But if there's certain things you want, we have, I believe, nine of the 12 papers in. It usually has to do with the space thing. They're $1.35 a piece, and I will just show you these real quick because then you can get a really good idea of what this looks like. I am loving this paper line too, okay? So there's, you know, when Halloween comes around, um, I'm always looking, there's a lot of lines that come out, but I'm always looking for the lines that like grab your attention. Because some of the lines end up looking, you know, like ones we've seen before. So when they look like, oh, I love that, that's where that's where I um, try to bring them in. And I try to bring in enough for you guys to actually get some really cool projects done. So this one is um, the 3x4 cut aparts. This beauty is phenomenal. Now, for those of you guys that are in Friday's Coffin Box class, I think... I, I think, I more than think, but uh, this is the paper that you guys are going to get on the outside of your coffin box. So I love it. This is one of the coolest bat papers. But on the back side, you've got these really cool 4 by 4s Yes, 4 by 4s Okay. And then we have a nice web and a nice stripe. Those are always, you know, needed at Halloween time. So look at these. Are those the cutest little vintage witches? Oh my gosh, so cute. And then this one's really fun. So this is a tone-on-tone -tone pumpkin, like a jack-o'-lantern, 
but when you're far away, you only kind of see the faces. So it's a little bit, I wouldn't say magic, but kind of magic. <laughs> and then we have, this is a sheet of like random cut aparts, but um, I mean, come on, that is so cute. And the skeleton keys, yes. <laughs> and so then you've got some little party uh, jack-o'-lantern buckets. Jack-o'-lantern bucket? I don't know if that's really the name it's called, but okay. And I love this spider paper too. So this spider paper on the 12 by 12 pack is sized for card makers. It's small. So I love it. I love it when we have that option on our 12 by 12s because that's what, you know, that's what we need is something just kind of small and discreet when it comes to spiders. But look at those guys. Happy little ghosts. And I don't know why, oh, my papers are upside down, but, and then we have some pumpkins dancing and then uh, some little tone-on-tone -tone owls, really cute. And <laughs> I don't know, this, this cat in this line is adorable. He's so cute with his little, he looks like a little um, vampire cat, but really probably they're just cat fangs. And then you've got some sparkles. And kind of witch with a cat silhouettes and a really nice bold stripe. Okay, so dollar thirty-five on all the open stock papers. Those are here and out. You can grab those when you come in. Um, and the element stickers. These guys, I believe, are four fifty. So really, a great set of those. Also, we have in the frames and tags. I'll just kind of hold these up for you guys to see. At five fifty, you get lots of goodies in there. There are thirty-four pieces, and ephemera is thirty-three pieces. So there's lots of goodies in there, also. Okay, and then we have two stencils. Now I've had orders for the other stencils in the line, so we'll get those in um, because I also know I think it's this one. I have to restock on the bats. This is my very last one. So we have the bats and the spiders. Um, $6.99 on the stencils. I think part of one of the reasons these have been really popular, especially this bats, is because they're small. They're a little bit, you know, kind of that stylized um, bat that matches the line. But they're also a smaller bat because a lot of times the bats and the bat stencils are, are big. But I love that one. And then there were two stamps. I only have one left in stock. So, um, but uh, let's see. This one is, they're only $12.99. And the other one will be back in stock too when we get our order back in. Okay. So this stamp is called Grab, Grab Your Broom. If it seems like I'm moving quickly, it's because we still have a ton of stuff to get in, to, to go through. Okay. You guys, Elizabeth Crafts is here. Now, if you are a fan of Elizabeth Crafts, there are two new colors of planners. Okay, so the planners are $25.99. Now, I'm showing you guys these. We are currently, like the stock I got in has already been reserved, but I'm putting in another order. to. They'll probably ship out tomorrow, and I just want to make sure that you guys get a chance to see this. Is this taped on there? I never know. Hold on. Okay, because these are so pretty. So if you are looking to get the planners and you want the new colors, I mean, you guys, look at that. That's the purple one. So what did I say? $25.99 on that. And then um, this one, I think you can see the color in the packaging, I hope. It's teal. So on my video, it looks a little bit more blue than it does in person. But I would say if you're familiar with Tim's colors, maybe like evergreen bow, you know, kind of that that greener of the teal blues. And it's got these really cool distressed embossed numbers on it. And it's the same price, $25.99. So um, when they come out with new colors, especially when they're fun, they do tend to sell out fairly quickly because they just have sort of standard colors usually. So if you want them, let me know because I will be placing another order and I want to make sure we get them while they are available. Oops, and I didn't put that in. Okay, I'll come back to that. Okay, so that being said, let's talk about the other goodies that have arrived. 
Oh, uh, now I got these in. My first shipment was last week, maybe Friday before a week ago this past Friday. And I just brought it over to the people in class and they were gone like this. This was without a sample. So a big thank you to Joan who made me samples and then brought them in the next day. So um, I had already placed a reorder for them and we only have a handful of these left from that again because she made these samples for us. You guys, are these not the most beautiful? Holy cow. So this one is Joyous Ornament Stars Number 1 and it's only $21.99. Here's the kicker with this. These, my friends, are the big ones. You also can make them in small. So $21.99, you get two designs and two sizes of each. That is four star ornaments. Now, apparently you have to cut this and fold it and adhere it seven times, but she said once you got the um, hang of it, they kind of just go together like that. Plus, you get some nice little doily centers and things. So, really, really awesome value. That's Joyous Stars ornament number one. And then, um, I think we talked about this on a video before, but Flower Centers number two, the stamp is back in stock. Oh, you know what? This is kind of far from me. I hope you guys are seeing everything. Um, so, this is back in stock now and on the front table, I believe. But these guys are all new. Okay. So when uh, a couple months ago, we had in uh, some really cool stamp sets from Elizabeth Crafts. Frida, there was Florence, um, and one called Favorite Humans that was popular. I think we have one Frida in stock, and uh, I, maybe the Favorite Humans, because I did try to reorder those. But... So what these are is these are a really, really cool set of stamps. They're a bigger set than, say, like the Lawn Fawn standard size. Um, so you get a great value. This one is about books. It's called The Bookstore. But also, you guys, you get this little die, just one die, because that's all you really need for this collection, to cut out the girl. So I don't know. Books is a thing this year. So the Lawn Fawn book collection... Um, I, we just got a restock of Lawn Fawn today, and that stuff was so popular. Crazy. And now we've got this awesome set. So you've got this if you're doing kind of, you know, like um, planners, or maybe you're doing scrapbooking, or or you like to do collage backgrounds for cards and stuff like that. This is going to really go um, well with a lot of that kind of stuff, just because it's really fun um, to use. And then it is $28.99 for the big set of stamps and the dies. That one is called the bookstore. And then, my friends, we have the craft store. Ah! So you have, this is a three die set, but it's really only one die. They're connected, okay, as is the stamp. But when it cuts it out, you'll get three different paint tubes. So you get the paints, you get this beautiful label right here. Um, and then you also get this little piece, so you could maybe stamp a different color. Or I, I don't know. Um, and then you've got some things for filing and just some other background doodads. <laughs> yes to this. That is great. Okay. Then this next one is called Travels 2. I'm going to set that one off to the side because we'll use that in a second. So this one does not have a die. This one's $22.99. Did I give you the craft store one? $28.99? Yeah. All right. So we've been laughing about this one all day. Because really, when I saw this one, I ordered it for one sentiment on here. And it made me laugh, and it's made us laugh all day. The director of Looking Busy. Now, I have one of these in my life. Perhaps you've met him. <laughs> He's over there trying to not to smile. But <coughs> this is actually called Travels Number 2. But this one just, it struck me. And so... <clears throat> Anyways, so this is about like if you're doing a travel book, something like that, but it also just has some really cool stuff for your memories or, um, you know, if you're doing mini albums or sometimes even just cards, right? Because you've got these cool little ephemera kind of things that can go in here. 
and it says, you know, look at this. Hello, summer. Documented. Yes to this. Okay. So before, um, I was going to do all the stamps, but really I kind of want to do these in a different order. So let me grab this one. Okay. So this one is called, remember, this is a die set. So uh, Travels 2 is the stamp. That one is called $22.99. Has some cool stuff in here. This one is called Remember. It is designed to fit in the Square XL Art Journal if you have it. However, this set is so good for just that and beyond. Okay? So I kind of want to talk about this because if you scrapbook this big die, and it will fit in your standard die cut machine, you may need the extended plate. So I haven't measured it. Um, but this, if you die cut this and fold it in half, you now have a very interesting card shape, right? Or you can use this as in a 12 by 12 scrapbook because you'll see here, this one is 12 by 12. You can die cut that and make a really interesting little section on one of your pages. It'll be great for that. This makes a really interesting photo frame. This, you guys, this is a pocket, okay? So you can cut this and then you fold these two in. These are fun to put on your cards as well for tuck-ins or you can put them um, on the front of your card, the inside of your card. You can put them in mini books, all kinds of things. You've got two, like a little um, film uh, film strip here that can have little pictures. Look at this one. It's so cute with the little label. Now, what do we think that says? Okay, we're going to figure this out. Let's see. I have, I don't know what this says. Spin, mm, P, mm. I may have to get back to you on what this one says. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure unless it go this way. No, I don't know. Um, and then this one says, oh, this one says remember. So this one says, I don't know, but once I cut it, it will. But you guys, look at the airplane. Okay. So this is that technology, right? Where this is your base and then it cuts in these embossed pieces. So it shows you where to put these just, you know, just in case. So the top part here goes right up at the top. This piece will fit right in here. Okay. And then this is your little tail piece. So you can make some really cool airplanes and you've got the camera. So you can do the same with the camera. Simple dies, but with that layered effect, give you a really cool thing. So that one is $25.99 and called Remember. Last week, I think it was last week, it's all a blur now, we went through the vintage travel stuff. So um, the director reminded me that we have these. You guys, these are vintage boarding passes from back in the day. Remember those dot matrix printers? So you can fill in the information if you want to. You could even stick it in a typewriter if you have one of those at home because it'll roll right in. And you can type in the stuff that you want in all of those little sections. This is that part that, um, you know, they would tear off, I think, when they were, like, checking you in or something. I, I don't remember back. <laughs> it was a while ago, right? <laughs> but these are so cool to have in your travel journals. OMG. And we found these. I've never seen them since. Um, so I just think they're really, really cool. So that's the travel section. And then we have, oh, how many of these did we get? If only two, pull these because they're four people. Yeah. Okay. And then we have these. Wait a minute. Where's the, is this all there was? Wasn't there one with postage dies? Okay, well, surprise, uh, I think there was one other piece I was expecting, but at any rate, <laughs> these two don't go together. Hold on. I'm going to go back to the stamps. All right. So for those of you guys that are loving those postage, make your own stamps kind of thing, um, these are a whole set. It's called Postage Stamps 1, which leads me to believe there might be more coming down the line. I don't know. I haven't seen it. I'm just guessing. If they label something a number one, you expect there to be a number two. Um, so you have all of these really cool little images. If you recall um, 
the ones we were talking about before, that's Frida from that collection. This one is Florence. Um, this little uh, critter, I think, the critter, this little girl, <laughs> I meant to say cutie and it came out critter, <laughs> this little cutie, she, I believe, was maybe in the favorite humans, um, but so they're different sizes and you have all of these great images um, and look at, it's just, it's so cool. So if you're into making those stamps for doing your own ephemera and stuff like that, this is a must have stamp set. $22.99 on that one. And then I got in this set. So the thing with Elizabeth Crafts is that they have these planners. And if you're doing the planner series, um, even if you're not doing it as planners, it's really kind of like a fun mini album, record keeping, document your life kind of a, a series. But um, even if you aren't doing that, there are so many dies in this line of stuff from these guys that are usable in so many things. So this one is called Journal Sleeves Fillers because they did just come out with some page um, inserts that are plastic that go in the books and stuff. But you guys, I wanted to get these in for you because was it last week or the week before we were looking at those really fabulous nested dies that have the indented corners and there's plain and they're stitched. And these are a new release item. So what you have is you have a little frame and then you have littler dies and even a die that goes inside it like a mat. So these are going to be phenomenal for um, making cards and such where, this is what I was thinking. Let me grab, hang on a minute. So I'm thinking, you know, we've got this piece here. I don't know if this is going to fit, you guys. I'm just going to pop this open. And we are going to take a look. Hold on. Maybe, maybe. Okay, i got to do this delicately. Hold on a minute. They do get taped in these bags pretty well. So if you like ASMR of with package opening, that was for you. <laughs> okay. So what I'm thinking is, so we have these three by fours in all kinds of collections, right? And if, I don't know which one is going to fit. I don't know what size these are, but we're going to just try it. Let's see. Look at, ah, oh, yes. You guys, that is awesome. Okay, so these dies from the Journal Sleeves Fillers are going to fit three by fours. And now you have kind of a cool little die that has a different, um, you know, kind of a, a, a ratio, right, than one you might already have. And then this is the insert. So with this one, what you would take is you would take one and you would kind of look around to see if there's a smaller one. Maybe it might not be this sheet. That's, this one might not be it. Okay. Okay. This is not the right sheet. I'm just telling you. But if there's a smaller image on the, um, on the three by four, you cut it with this one and then you mat it with this one. But it looks like most of these are going to cut beautifully with this one. And then you can mat it with the square if you want to. Or not, that's not a square, but the squared edges. Um, or, I mean, there's just so many options. And this is why I get all excited about this. Because, you know, I love math. And I love it when they make stuff with other stuff in mind. And I have no idea if they did. Maybe it just worked out. Um, but then we go and we grab, where's that other one? So say this one is the four by fours. And so what if we take this piece? This is the smaller one. Nope, I need the bigger one. Okay. And look at, it's like perfect. Look at how perfect that is. And then you've got, hey there, pumpkin. So these are going to be great for a lot of these type of things to make your cards go like that. So this is Journal Sleeves Filler number one. Do not let this, the name of it um, deter you from the awesomeness that is this collection. Okay. 
I kind of ordered it on a whim, was hoping that it would work the way I wanted it to, and um, I'm always happy when it actually does. Hi, Fonda. Hi, Monica. So this one is the Journal Sleeves Fillers number one. Okay, $31.99 on that guy. And then we have gone through all, oh, I'm getting stuff crunched. Okay, now we've gone through all the Elizabeth Crafts. Okay, and guess what else just came? Ooh. That was supposed to be dramatic, not messy, but <laughs> I think it might have been messy. All right, so um, some of these items, we had to put the order in a while ago, and then people have been sending me their lists. So I do think I pulled everybody's. This is one of everything. Um, this pile here is spoken for. Um... But other than that, if you sent me a list, you should have gotten an email from me that your stuff is here and ready for pickup or if I had questions or whatever. Um, turns out there was some re-release of some older stuff. That'll be in another one because they were not in the same section on the website and I didn't know that. So anyways, let's go through the new Halloween ideology. And then you guys, we are done. <laughs> Okay, so I told you it was a lot. I hope everybody buckled in for this one before we started. Okay, let's talk about this guy first. I have apparently four left in stock, and they're already discontinued. So uh, when they're out, they're out. I don't see that we'll be getting any more. This is the Backdrops. It is uh, 6 by 10 inches, Halloween 2024, and this one is $9.99. Okay, so um, Tim on his video went through all of these things in a lot of detail, so I'm not going to necessarily open them up if need be. These ones will go fast because they're already um, discontinued, which is shocking to me. The sticker book. He started doing this in the last couple years. And so the sticker book is $6.99. <laughs> and what you get in here is it's kind of a mixture of a number of different stickers than he's had kind of in the past. Um, so we've got the, these are clippings from books. And that's why they're all different colors. They were direct scanned from the book. And then they kind of do sort of a wacky cut on them. So it looks like you cut them out, kind of like a ransom note. Um, so you've got a couple sheets of those. Oh, four sheets of those. These are the ones people love. They're really fun. And they are a matte uh, paper on those. So you can ink them. Five sheets. I'm just going to keep counting till we get to the, until we get past them. Okay. So you can say lots of Halloween-esque stuff. Okay. And then we have witch hats. So you can dress up all kinds of um, little characters. Now, I don't know. Is this, is this showing? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to be honest. I haven't had time to watch the video yet fully, but um, see this little thing that cuts out? That, my guess, my friends, if I were to guess, is so that you can take the um, the paper dolls and you can put witch hats on them because you can tuck that right in and it'll be like they're wearing the hat. So clever. Or maybe you could put it on one of the skulls. But also we've got all of these little masks so that you can put um, Halloween masks or Halloween hats on the characters. <laughs> and then these guys... Uh, are these like vintage mug shots? I don't know, but um, those are pretty awesome. Yeah, those those are pretty pretty fab. Okay, so you get a couple sheets of those ones. That's hilarious. So, anyways, that's the sticker book, and six ninety nine on that one. Okay, since we were just talking about it. This one is the layers and paper dolls. So they've combined everything. Now, I meant to grab a scale beforehand um, because this sucker, this is weighty. You get 64 pieces in here. You get big ones and Halloween dolls. So it really is a whole mixture of a whole bunch of stuff. 
And I like that because um, then you're not just getting dolls, but you're getting all the stuff so that you can build these really cool scenes and collages and stuff like that. So it's a little bit of everything. You always want to turn it over to kind of get a better picture of what's in there. And then this one is already on reorder, I believe. Okay, we might have one of these in stock, but I can get more of these. Um, it's because some of my pre-orders, people were getting multiples because these are the ones that they're, they're really fabulous for building scenes. You can create signs here if you want to. You can put characters in these windows and create some spooky scenes, um, do all kinds of that. So it's really, really fun. And these are the chipboard. They're called baseboards, um, but they're a nice thick. Hopefully you can kind of see that on the video. They're a thick baseboard, so they really give you a nice surface to work work on. This one does not have a price on it. Let me tell you. It is $8.99 on the baseboard. Okay. And then we have, this is the ephemera pack. So these ones are a cardstock thickness. You get 123 pieces for $7.99. Screaming value for lots of collageable bits and doodads. And this is your Halloween themed. So this is Halloween 2024. Um, just lots of, lots of really, really great stuff in here. Uh, let's see. Oh my gosh, there's still so much stuff. Okay, so we've got transparent moths. These are all printed on transparencies. He's done butterflies. Um, I think, you know, he's done bats before. We have a couple bat wings, I think, in the uh, transparencies here. This is transparent moth so So these are all printed on acetate. You get 26. And the details and the colors are absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Oh, so pretty. And then, oh, did I tell you a price? $5.99 on that one. And then we have the transparencies. So these, this was one of the most popular ones he did. Um, was it last year was the first year? I can't quite remember. But these actually have a hole in them. Okay. So you've got, um, it was called Shattered. And so he brought that back because people were just crazy about it. And so you've got a couple pieces of Shattered in there. You've got some with spider webs. You can kind of see those in the background. And then you also have these ones that have these transparent bat wings. So these are meant so that, like, if you have a little image of a cat or something and you want to put these bat wings on, now you've turned it into a Dracula cat. Dracula cat? No. Oh, catula? That's it. That's the term. Catula. I knew there was something. <laughs> so, and then we have the collage paper. So this is a really thin printed tissue paper. Um... And you get, let's see, 30 pieces in here. One, two, three, four, five. So two of each. Now, some of these are very specifically seem Halloween, but they're also a generic. So like the skull and the bones and the spooky house and the bugs and stuff, you could make those Halloween. But you could also make this for like an outdoor nature album, right? Um, or something. And these are meant to use collage paste. No, uh, the collage medium and those really fabulous brushes of Tim's, you can brush it right onto a surface and this goes on and it just kind of becomes part of the background. It's really, really beautiful. Very, very easy to use. Um, I don't have a price on that one either. Some of these got checked in after I ground stuff, so sorry about that, you guys. Uh, $5.99 on the collage paper. And then we have large collage strips. So he's come out with collage strips and something before. I don't, these were really hard to get with the last, um, the last release, I remember. So um, it's nice to see that they were that popular for everybody else that they're back in Halloween. So these are called the large collage strips. You get 24 sheets in here for $5.99. And what's cool about these is you can use these as a whole strip on something, right, if you want to. But also you can cut them apart and just use little bits. There's tons of really cool images and whatnot in here. So 
all kinds of stuff. Some stuff is for Halloween. Some stuff doesn't have to be for Halloween. So, you know, I mean, just look at how beautiful that is, right? So you've got <laughs> her on the other hand. She kind of looks a little bit grumpy. So maybe Halloween for her. <laughs> but, you know, you've got lots of choices with those. And then um, these ones we also, I believe, have on reorder. These ones... I never quite know with some of these until Tim does the makes, how popular they're going to be. We've had a lot of requests for this one. So I think that they did some really, really cool stuff. I'm going to, I'm trying to get it to focus here for you. These are called the figure stands. Let me just, it is not going to focus. Here we go. There we go. Okay. So these are designed to be kind of just vintage little fun stuff for when you do um, display pieces and things. They aren't necessarily for cards because they are really quite 3D, but um, super fun for doing display pieces. And they're $7.99. You get, it's six pieces, but really you get a top and a bottom times three. And then this is called Conservatory. <laughs> so for the list that people sent in and they wrote conservative, I was like, what am I looking for? I had no idea. So these are really fun because you can put the drippy candles in, which will be coming in the next box. Um, or you could create little scenes in here with little doodads and whatnot. Uh, but they, again, just give you some fun things to set stuff on if you're doing displays. So $8.99 on those guys. And then check this out. Oh, this is fun. So these guys are littler than last year's. These are the skulls. You get 10 skulls in here. And you guys, I am loving this packaging. <laughs> this reminds me of those, the catacombs. I, I'm sure he did that on purpose, right? I'm just trying to get, getting it to focus in here is pretty, pretty crazy. Um, but they're stacked in here. They're all separate, but they are stacked in here like how they are in the catacombs. So that's, that's pretty awesome packaging. So $5.99 on that. And then, you guys, this. I mean, just this. I'm gonna open this one. I don't think I don't think Shirley will mind if I open this one because um, I just can't keep my grubby little hands off of it. So actually they're very clean. Sorry, Shirley. They're very clean. <laughs> $10.99 for this one. You get 20 sheets of six by nine Halloween sparkle plaid on craft stock. So I didn't prepare to open this. I have no tools. I have no tools. Okay. Oh, you guys, I'm not gonna open this all the way because it really is, but it is very, very sealed. So hang on one second. I gotta get under the plastic. Oh, look at that. Can you see that? That is like a sugar sparkle. Why is my focus just crazy today? There we go. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So you get one, two, there are probably five of each design. And then look at this one. Come on, focus. <laughs> there we go. I think I got it. Look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. So pretty. And then we have this one. That one is really... I love I love the orange part. But it's like an orange, almost in a, like an olive. Because I think the brown with the sparkle turns a little olive color. So really, really fabulous. And I'm pretty sure they did some awesome makes on the video. I didn't get to look at all of them yet. But you guys... This stuff is going to be really fabulous for Halloween and through fall because it adds like a subtle sparkle, but with a little bit of a design. So $10.99 on that one. And I can't believe it. I am now at the end of my basket of things to show you. So if you hung in here, I'm going to go quick through um, the recap. Like I say, I'm going to go quick, and then it's so much stuff. All right. We're going to start with what I was originally going to start with, just because it is here. Now, um, we do have the papers in open stock that I showed, but I'm not going to do those on the review. I just need the sticker sheet. Okay. So this is 
Halloween Fun from Cartabella. This was the one that was the sneak peek in the newsletter last week. So some of you guys may have seen it on Friday or Saturday if you were here. So the collection kit on this one, 12 papers, one sticker is $15.99. The sticker by itself we have in open stock as well. So that one is $4.50. The stamps, this is Grab Your Broom. I only have one of these left, but we'll have more coming. $12.99, so great price on the stamp. And these are made in the U.S. stamps, by the way, which is really nice. Um, two stencils out of four. The other two will be coming. They are $6.99 a piece. We only have one left of the bats and the spiders. Then we have two ephemeras for this collection. We have the ephemera for $5.50. Okay. Doggone that focus. Why is it so crazy today? Okay. And then we have the frames and tags. All right. So there's that. Then we went through Paper Rose. The new ha Halloween is called Spooky Halloween. Last year's Halloween is called Happy Halloween. So Happy Halloween we got in the 6x6 and the embossed die cuts in limited quantities because I know a lot of you guys already have it. $8.99 for the 6x6, $9.99 for the embossed, um, embossed die cuts. And then for Spooky Halloween, the brand new collection, we have all the papers in open stock as well. Um, so the 12, 12 by 12 papers is $17.99. The 6 by 6 is $8.99. Be sure that you want this collection that you say Spooky Halloween so I know um, which one is which. And then we have the package of cut aparts for Spooky Halloween, and when we were going through this, we noticed that these are coordinating but different images for the collection, okay? So $11.99 on that one, and then the embossed die cuts, which are still one of my favorite embellishments ever, $9.99. Um, also from Paper Rose in limited quantities, because I don't know if this is even the right one, Lavender and Roses, the six by six paper collection, $8.99 for that one and $9.99 for the embossed die cuts. And then for those of you guys that are in the Christmas mood, we have Enchanting Christmas. This is that stunning purple line from last year. This year, we have a quick cards collection. So this makes, um, there's paper in here for 18, toppers for nine for the quick cards really great and easy to put these kits together. $22.99 for that. If you want an extra set of the toppers to go with those or just because, they're $10.99 for the toppers for Enchanted Christmas. Okay, so that, my friends, is Paper Rose. Now, um, these ones, our first shipment, I thought we had more in this first shipment, um, but, you know, honestly, I, there's a lot coming and going. So these are the two planners. They are, what, $25.99 a piece. We have um, the purple ones, and we have the teal ones. I'm putting in another order probably tonight so that these will ship in the next day or two. And um, if you want any of these, be sure to let me know, okay? Because I know um, some people had told me, so our first batch is already gone. And then from Elizabeth Crafts also, the... Flower Centers number two is back in stock. We did look at the cards for this, I think it was last week. So I just wanted to let you guys know. This is the Joyous Ornaments Stars number one. This one, Trey actually told me to go check this out. And so he was here in class when they first arrived and our first shipment was gone, just like that. So thank you to Trey for um, telling me to go look at that. And thank you to Joan for bringing me some beautiful, beautiful samples. So really, really elegant uh, star ornaments. These are gonna be gorgeous on trees or packages, something like that. So this is the Joyous Ornament Stars number one. This is $21.99. And you guys, not only does it make two designs, it makes two sizes of each. And then in the stamps and dies, we have postage stamps number one. So these are a lot of our favorite images from these guys. Oh, there's the little favorite humans too. 
uh, $22.99, but postage stamp size. This one is called The Craft Store. You get a die that'll cut out these tubes and all of these other cool ephemera stamps to play with. So $28.99. The Book Store, and this one comes with the coordinating die for this little girl here reading her big giant book and um, and all of the ephemera. So $28.99 on that one. This one here is the one that I actually took out and we looked at how perfect it goes with the three by fours and the four by four, the four by fours and other ones because of the different sizes you have here. So even though it's journal sleeves fillers one, it has these really cool inverted corners and stuff. It's going to fit so many cool things that are in other collections. So that one's $31.99, insanely usable. All right, and then we have our travel collection. So, best stamp in a long time, director of Looking Busy, my favorite. Uh, this is Travels 2. Lots of cool stuff for your mini books or just, you know, creating backgrounds, that kind of thing. <coughs> $22.99 on the stamp. And then there is a very cool die that is called Remember. And you've got these really awesome film strip pieces. You've got layerable cameras, layerable um, airplanes, pockets, so much cool stuff. This one's $25.99. Love that one. And then from our vintage collection, these are the vintage um, boarding passes that we have. You get two of them in here in the dollar. They're a dollar for two, um, but they will go really perfectly with that. And then lastly, my friends, is the ideology. Halloween ideology. Okay. So, backdrops, what we have is what we have, and I think what we have is maybe three or four. So, $9.99 oh, for the Halloween 2024 backdrops, and then the Halloween sparkle plaid. Oh, so beautiful, you guys. $10.99, and the large collage strips are... Oops, $5.99. The collage paper is, <laughs> three of these don't have prices, $5.99. The transparencies with the shattered in here is $5.99. Transparent moths, $5.99. Ephemera pack, $7.99. The baseboards, I believe I said these were $8.99, just from memory. And we have the layers and paper dolls. This one you could also, um, you know, build up some muscles. Oh, wait. Let me get you a price on that one, too. $9.99 on the layers and paper dolls. And then the sticker book is six ninety nine. Uh the conservatory, which I think this one we have are we are reordering already is eight ninety nine. The skulls are five ninety nine and the figure stands are seven ninety nine. Now Halloween ideology or seasonal ideology is always one of those things that you don't want to wait too long to make decisions because they sell out quickly, as we've seen already with the baseboards. So if you want something, um, be sure to let us know, either um, on the comments on the video or uh, via email or stop by. Okay? Thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful night, and we will talk to you all soon. Bye!